Hello and welcome to spicyaroma.com. I'm Poonam and today I'm going to show you how to make mushroom curry. So let's go through ingredients quickly. Here I have white button mushrooms, maybe 15 to 20 in number and they're pretty big in size. Then you will need one onion, three small sized tomatoes, one green pepper, one teaspoon of red chili powder, one teaspoon of coriander powder, one teaspoon of cumin powder, half teaspoon of turmeric powder and quarter teaspoon of white or black pepper powder ginger and garlic paste 1 teaspoon each 1 tablespoon of kasuri methi or dried fenugreek leaves you will also need some whole spices like 2 bay leaves 2 cinnamon sticks 3 cloves 2 green cardamoms and 1 teaspoon of fennel seeds first wash the mushrooms really well to remove dirt on them if any Now finely chop the onion and tomatoes. Slit the green pepper and cut into medium sized pieces. Then cut the mushrooms in half and then slice each half. In case of small mushrooms you can directly slice them or just cut into quarters. Now I'm done with all cutting stuff, let's make curry. Heat one and half tablespoon of oil in a pan. Add whole spices and fry them just for a few seconds. Then add onion and fry till translucent. At this point add salt so that onions cook little faster. Then add ginger and garlic paste and green pepper. Stir for a minute until raw smell from ginger and garlic disappears. Now add tomatoes and mix well. Now cover and cook for a couple of minutes until tomatoes turn soft and get smashed up with onion. Now you can see tomatoes are soft, just mash them little bit with back of your spatula so that it forms a kind of gravy. Now add all dry spices and mix it really well. Now cook until masala dries out and releases oil. Now you can see this masala has uh, started to release the oil. Now go ahead and add sliced mushrooms. Mix it really well. I'm just going to add quarter cup of water but if you want thick gravy then don't add water as mushrooms will also release some water while cooking. Cover and cook for 6 to 8 minutes stirring occasionally. Now curry is almost done. Crush kasuri methi in between your palms and add into the curry. It will add nice flavor to the dish. Now just simmer curry on low heat for a couple of minutes and it is ready to be served. Serve it hot with chapati, naan or fulka or plain boiled rice. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe to my channel and visit spicyaroma.com for more such recipes. Thank you and see you soon with the next recipe. Till then, take care. Bye bye.